Many hours of hard work. How do you reach our uh, exploration process? It was the call of my life. Once upon a time in Hollywood, who did Austin Butler play? Quentin Tarantino definitely has a knack for revisionist history. While his 2009 World War II revenge film, Inglorious Bastards, featured the assassination of Adolf Hitler, fans couldn't be certain that he'd pull the same trick with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. However, it turns out that the fairy tale nature of the film's title was there as a hint all along. Still, the presence of the infamous Manson family casts a vast and unsettling shadow over the events of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Luckily, the four members who show up to trouble Rick Dalton, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Cliff Booth, Brad Pitt, are dispatched in a hilariously brutal fashion before they're able to get to their notorious devil's work. You reach out for uh, exploration process. It was the call of my life. Doing his movie. What goes through your head? Well, the way that this came... It's hard for me to even put into words how much that girl means. How crazy is that? While fans might have spotted recognizable performers like Dakota Fanning, Margaret Qualley, and Lena Dunham among their ranks in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Austin Butler wasn't the big name back in 2019 that he is today, following his star-making role in Elvis. For this reason, it's easy to see why viewers might not have realized that he was, in fact, the actor behind real-life spree killer Tex Watson. True crime aficionados will well know that despite the infamy associated with cult leader Charles Manson, the ringleader wasn't there for the cult's most vicious and brutal crime. The murders of Sharon Tate, Jay Sebring, Abigail Folger, Wojciech Frakowski, and Stephen Parent rocked the nation on August 9, 1969, and it was Tex Watson that led the horrifying depravity of the evening as Manson's right hand. How crazy is that? How do you... The king himself. But then also riding on the fact that I just was with. Given how charming Austin Butler was as the titular crooner in Elvis, it's hard to imagine him playing such a despicable creature as Watson in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Still, it's a testament to his range as a performer that he can create such disparate yet believable versions of two characters based on real men from opposite sides of the moral spectrum. In reality, however, the real-life Watson remains incarcerated to this day. His most recent parole hearing was denied in 2021, and as a result, the 77-year-old felon won't be up for parole again until 2026. As for Butler, fans can look forward to seeing him return to the dark side in Dune, Part 2, where the actor will be playing the sinister fade Rao the Harkonnen. That's how we present this content, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. For the support of our viewers, thank you. So I did, and then that went well, and then Ben, and it, it's really remarkable. And then you see him. I would have a lot more reservations about doing it if it wasn't.